Welcome to App Design Tips. The XD team just released a new plugin called Whiteboard, which is a perfect response to the situation we're in now, which is, you know, working alone. Together. Or are we working together alone? I guess I never really understood which came first, the chicken or the... This plugin has dozens of templates and elements that you can use to turn Adobe XD into a virtual whiteboard. And with the live collaborating feature, you can invite all of your friends in there to whiteboard together. So let's check it out. So here we have XD open, and the first thing we can do is come right down here to the bottom for this plugins icon. And if you don't have this plugin yet, go ahead and click on the plus icon here, and you can search for it here. It's just called whiteboard. But I already have this installed. So I can click on whiteboard right here and you'll notice that we have three tabs. There's the templates, elements, and then the ability to draw on artboards. So let's go through the templates first. You can see that we have categories for brainstorming templates, drawing, we have some flowcharts, uh, team management, and then we have some tips that if we click on there, it'll show you different tips that you can use for brainstorming or whiteboarding. So in a nutshell, all you have to do is click on the brainstorming tab. You can drill down through here and see which one you want to use. For example, card sorting, if we click on there, we have a brand new artboard with these elements that we can use. So I have a few of them already laid out here, so I'm going to come over here and just give you an example of one of these. This is an affinity diagram, so it gives you some tips on how you can use this. On each one of these artboards, there's some tips. So I highly recommend you read over these. But for this one, for example, let's say that you have a team coming up with and brainstorming ideas. You can brainstorm virtually in XD, and then each team member can have three colored dots that are their own color, and then they can place those in different categories that they want to vote on. Now, if you're liking this video so far, you're going to love my course, Adobe XD UI UX Essential Training. In this course, you're going to work with me on designing an app from scratch and prototyping it, and I have a steep discount in the link below. It's going to give you 80% off, so if you're interested, you can find that link below. So let me just show you how this works here. So I've got a kind of an idea right here. Let's say that we're working with an e-commerce website and you have a team coming together brainstorming different ideas of where the team can focus on next. So in this brainstorming phase right here, as you're going through and whiteboarding, you wanna make sure you give everybody in the team the opportunity to brainstorm different ideas and it doesn't matter how big or small these ideas are or how crazy they are, they just dump all of these ideas into cards. And in this scenario here, this card is actually a master component, so you can see how everything else resizes based on that. But then these child components here, you can resize these however you want. And this smart auto resize allows you to grow this if you're going to add more text than the other ones. So it's just a very nice way to just jot down your ideas. And because these are master and child components, with this child component right here, I even added an icon to the component and just overrode that layer. So it's very powerful and starting with this template is really awesome. So in this affinity diagram, what we wanna do is group these ideas by certain categories. So I've already written down delivery features, better shopping cart, easier sign-in and discount. So we have some categories that we've assigned here. So we can drag these things in their appropriate category. Okay, so let's say that your team is in here collaborating. They all group these into different categories together. They've brainstormed different ideas. And now each member has different colored dots that they can use. And if they're all in here live, they can grab their own color. Let's say that I'm this color right here. I can assign these to the certain categories that matter most to me. So I like these three categories. And let's say Stacy right here likes to put all three of her dots on the discount reward features. And then we have these ones right here, maybe Scott wants to put two in better shopping cart experience and one in delivery features. And so you can very easily vote on those ideas and you can see how nice these elements are for whiteboarding. But now we have a nice plan of action and it looks like now because of these heavily weighted votes, we have a toss up between better shopping cart and discount features. So that's how you can use one of the templates very easily. And if you just come through here and just take a look at some of these other ones, so customer journey map, for example, you can see that you can plan out different phases for the customer journey. 
you can create this graph, I guess, decide which one is more pleasant step or experience. And so we can drag this down here, for example. And here we have this happy face, but if we want to change this, we can come back into our elements. We can scroll down and we have some elements that we can use. So let's say we want to use the angry one right here. We just click and drag this down here. And if we want to change the color of this, every element that you click within here, they have a swatch for the whiteboard. So right here where it shows what they're thinking, I might want to make this red and bring this down here and delete this guy. So very easily, you don't have to worry about pixel perfection. You just have all of these elements to reuse and they're nice and resizable because of the auto resize. And that's just one whiteboard for a customer journey map. So there are some other whiteboard options that are really nice too. So for example, if you want to sketch out some ideas on an iPhone screen, we have that here. And now we're going to go into the draw tab right here in the plugin. And we can click on this artboard right here and just click start drawing. And we have this nice panel pop up. We can choose our color and we have the thickness of our pen. I'm just going to do something right there and we can just start drawing some ideas. And if you have the iPad Pro, you can plug in Sidecar and use your pencil for some fine tune drawing. But right here, we can just do some nice prototypes within here. Maybe add a mountain right here and a happy little cloud and a nice sun. And as soon as we're done drawing, we just click done right here. And that actually pulls in as a shape that we can reuse some of these other elements because I've drawn this so perfectly, I might want to reuse these. So I'll group it and I can bring this over here and over here. So that's drawing on your whiteboard, which is very awesome. And so the best way to get a feel for how you can use this with your team is just go ahead and look at each one of these and they have some tips to show how they all work. Some of these other templates that I really enjoy and wanna show you real quick, one of them is the impact and effort matrix. So we can see here, we can come up with different ideas and we can decide how impactful it is versus the effort it's going to take to accomplish those ideas. And let's say if we drag this one over to high impact and high effort, let's delete these tips right here. We can drag this over here and we can easily change the color right here. It changes the entire color of this group. And so now we have that same color and we can just go ahead and write something down right here. So very nice. And another one is the Kanban board. So we can click on there and we can see what's in our backlog to do in progress. And if you have avatars for your team, you can even assign different members for different tasks right here. So there's your Kanban board. And then we also have roadmap with teams. So there's dozens and dozens of templates. And if you don't want to huddle around near a real whiteboard, this virtual whiteboard comes in very handy. And because this whiteboard plugin has templates with already pre-built elements that you can copy around, you can spend less time trying to figure out how to draw a perfect square on the whiteboard and more time ideating and coming up with ideas with your team. Go ahead and check this plugin out. It's free and you can find this in the Discover's plugin tab. I hope you enjoyed this tip and if you did, please subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of future videos.